Julia from The Stiller Guitarist and in today's lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play Photograph by Ed Sheeran. If this is something that you'd like to learn then stay tuned. Before we get started let's do a quick overview of the lesson. So for the song we only need to know four chords there are also going to be no bar chords in this tutorial and we only need to learn one strumming pattern that you can use throughout the entire song. If you want to challenge yourself, then do stick around. At the end of this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to play that picking part that you heard me playing in the beginning of this tutorial. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the chords. Firstly, to play the song, we're going to need to put a capo onto the fourth fret of your guitar. And like I mentioned earlier, there are only four chord shapes that you're going to need in order to play the song. The first chord we're going to need is a C major chord, which we strum from the fifth string down. Our next chord is an A minor chord, and we also strum from the fifth string down. Our third chord is called a G sus4 chord, and we keep our first finger exactly where we left it from the A minor and we're going to take our second finger into the second fret on our fifth string and our third finger is going to reach up into the third fret on our sixth string and we strum all the strings. If this is quite uncomfortable or new for you as a beginner and you're more comfortable with the normal G major chord shape then that's also fine, whichever one you feel more con confident and comfortable playing. The last chord we're going to be learning is an F major 7 chord, which we form like this, which I like to call easy F, and we strum from the 4th string down. If any of these chord shapes are new to you, then go ahead and pause this video now and practice changing and transitioning back and forth between those four chord shapes. This will help you so much in learning the rest of the song. Once you feel confident, then join me in the next part of the lesson where we're going to be talking about the strumming pattern. There is only one strumming pattern used throughout the entire song. And as you can see, it consists of eight down strums. You count it and it sounds like this. One and two and three and four. Let's practice that strumming pattern using a C major chord. One, two, three, go. One and two and three and four and. All down strums. One and two and three and four and. There are two things that we can add to that strumming pattern to make the song sound more like the original. And the first thing that I would suggest is incorporating something called a palm mute technique. You're gonna take your strumming hand and you're gonna put the palm of your strumming hand and rest it very lightly onto your strings. And what this does is it mutes the strings and gives a more subtle sound when you strum. So if we try that on our C chord, Here the strings have been muted but you can still hear the essence of the chord ringing through so if we practice that it's definitely something that you're going to have to work on it's a, quite a difficult technique to get right we're going to count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and the second thing that i would suggest adding to the song is an accent now what i've done is i've highlighted the accented notes on the screen so that's going to be on beats one and two and three and four and. So when you're strumming down, you're going to put more emphasis on the accented beats and this is going to drive the song forward. So let's try that together. One and two and three and four and. If we try that with our palm mute, main sections to the song and we're going to be learning each section today. So the first section is the verse, 
The second section is the pre-chorus and then the last section we're going to be looking at today is called the chorus. So let's start with learning the verse. So the first thing we need to discover is what is the chord sequence in the verse section. So it starts on a C major chord, we're then going to go to an A minor chord, to our G sus4, and then lastly to our F major 7. And we're going to take that strumming pattern that we learned earlier and we're going to play it through twice on each chord. So starting on C, one and two and three and four and again to A minor, again to G sus4, again and to our F major 7. Moving on into our pre-chorus, this part of the song, our chords are going to change order a little bit. So the pre-chorus starts on an A minor chord. We then move on to our F major 7. Then to C major. And lastly, our G sus4. And the strumming pattern here, instead of playing it through twice, we're only going to play it through once on each chord. So starting on that A minor, one, two, three, go. Change, and two, and three, and four, and to C, and to G sus4. Let's do it again, A minor, to F, C, and then we're going to do one strum, which is leading us into the chorus. The chords used in the chorus section, we're starting on a C major chord to our G sus4. We're then going to go across to an A minor chord and lastly our F major 7. And we're now going to go back to repeating that strumming pattern twice on each of the chords. Just something else to mention here, what I like to do is I stop doing the palm muting in the chorus just to give the song a bit more of a louder and uh, exhilarating sound. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing with just a normal down strum and continue doing those accented strums. So it will sound like this. One and two and three and four and again. To G sus four. us to the end of our first section of the lesson. We've learned all the chords for the song. Next up I'm going to be teaching you how to play that picking part you heard from the beginning of this tutorial. So we're going to be using the same four chords that we've learned throughout the lesson. So the chord shapes we're going to be using are C major to A minor, our G sus4 and our F major 7. Now, the picking pattern is quite repetitive. The only thing that's going to change is the bass string or the first note that you hear on each chord. So when we're starting, we're going to be beginning the picking on a C major chord and we're going to be picking that fifth string. We're then going to be going to our second string. So make sure we're getting that sound. We're then going to lift up our first finger and put it back down again. Those are the first four notes. So practice getting that right first. What happens next is we're going to go to an open string on the third string. So putting it together. We're then going to take our pinky and put it down on the fourth string in the third fret and then we're going to take it away and keep that second finger down. Pinky comes down and take it away.
One more time. Open string, put pinky down, take pinky away. The next chord shape we're going to go to is an A minor chord shape. And like I said, all the notes stay the same except the first note. So we're going to still play that fifth string, but the sound's going to be different because we've taken our third finger away. So now it's going to be an open string. Open string, third fret. Pinky. Our third chord shape is going to be based on that G sus 4 chord. So our ring finger is going to come up onto the sixth string in the third fret. That's our first note. And then we're going to repeat the same notes we played for the other two chords. Open string, pinky, and second finger. And the final chord shape we're going to be doing is that F major 7. So our first note is going to be our ring fingers note. So that's going to be the fourth string. Take this finger away because it needs to be an open string we play next. And we end that picking pattern with our third finger going back to the starting note, that first note we played at the very beginning. So a final playthrough, join me if you can, we're going to start on that C major, one, two, three, go. Right, you guys we've made it to the end of this tutorial all that's left to do now is a mini playthrough starting on that C major one two three go watching my tutorial today for photograph I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you found value in today's lesson content if you did then please give me a thumbs up and come and subscribe to my channel become part of the stellar guitarist community where I release videos every week on a Sunday helping you become a better guitarist that's all for me for today I'll see you in the next lesson bye